Secret versus PSG LGD. This is... That's my oh. voice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that distracted me a bit. Uh, we are in game. No, this is going to be... Uh, this is a hype matchup. Second seed Secret, unfortunately for them, have to face off against PSG LGD, who many feel are the favorites going into this tour tournament. But they ended up third in their group center. Yeah. This is, um out of those top threes, all right. Let's see, gonna see some fight. early action for the bounty. Zayats ends up netting himself that, but Resolution is going to take a little bit of damage here, which, of course, we are going to talk about Resolution a bit here, not just because he's awesome, Sinner, but just sitting on 15 and 1 CS. As you can see, a little action top lane, Faith Beyond, taking the brunt of the damage here. Chrysalis, still with the Starbreaker, will fully connect, and that looks like First Blood goes the way of Secret in this game. A little bit of a poke down here on bottom. Yeah, Poison Touch slowing Resolution to a crawl. You can see Zayat is coming, but it's going to be too late, so first kill. Really well with few items, right? If you get a BKB on this hero, if you get some sort of utility. Ooh, nice blitz. snowball. Ends up getting out of the range of the Starbreaker, but it matters not because Puppy is here to play as well. So one kill for Secret as... Why? Approach the Tier 1 tower will be fine. Resolution in the meantime. Hurts time. Oh, but Snowball in onto the mid lane. Nisha already at half HP. And here comes nothing to say with the Rolling Thunder, but a big Solar Guardian coming in as well as Chrysalis trying to focus down Jin Q. They'll be successful eventually. And nothing to say has to roll away. So rotation away from this dawn. Yeah, secret but... find Ame. Zayats gets off the Impale, but see the ult coming out from the Lone Druid as Nisha is here with the Pulse. Nova Y gets up a nice poison touch. Nice blocks coming out from Zayats, but the Grave comes out as well. It's nothing to say is coming to try to help out his comrade, but. Oh, he actually does TP out just barely enough HP, and Nisha and company have to high tail away, but Nisha oh, gets blocked shard. in by the Ice Shards. Split Earth only hits on one. You can see Resolution trying to help him out. He actually dodges the Swashbuckle. As Jin Q will be one to fall, and now they're going to turn this around to nothing to say as well. So it ends up being a two for one as Secret looked like the... The true form off, and it might cost Crystal this. Yeah, the snowball. snowball is going to connect, and you can see... The Lone Druid Baird going pretty ham here, but Puppy's there with the slow. And the hammer coming in now into Jin Q with the help of Resolution. So again, Secret getting the better of this engagement despite being the ones falling. To test the area. Um, Haste. Oh, but yeah, I think to say he gets stunned right out of the gates. They don't even need the Solar Guardian. There's Nisha and nets the kill with the Split Earth. 4k lead for Secret now. Uh -huh. They are absolutely destroying Starting to run away with it as you see. Puppy's ult come out after the Frostbite, and Zayats is here with another Impale Starbreaker to finish off Jin Q. You force your towers, so if you're the one setting the agenda, oh, you're already Puppy. really happy. Looking to tank the gank. Oh, the Global Science is giving him some cover, and the Solar Guardian coming as well. Jin Q is just punished right off the bat. Beautiful play from Secret. As they just shut that smash, looking for more. Oh, this could be big. They don't have. They don't have a solar though. guardian he though. Yeah. Dropped he everything. Still trying. Gets off the vendetta first. Actually gets the impale as well. Crystals is here with the huge starbreaker, and down goes Om. Uh, speaking of resolution, he has the falcon blade into four staff. He's going to see a starbreaker again come out. Faith beyond caught out. His own side here. Zayat stuck inside the ice shards. Nothing to say. He's going to be blocked off by said ice shards. And of course, that that we just inside is Nisha seems to have a decent oh. idea that this is happening. He's just going to walk right in with the split arc. Gets off the Pulse Nova and the Bloodstone ahead of him. The Solar Guardian on the outskirts as Zayats gets stunned. But nothing to say. Already gets off his Rolling Thunder. But a huge Starbreaker, Chrysalis, deletes Faith Beyond. Jin Q quite, starting to get quite low as Puppy's the first to fall for Seeker. So it's a one for one. He's going to buy back into the game. Though double kill from Chrysalis coming out as well. And Nisha pretty much out of mana, but it's just enough to take out Ame. And now Y and company from LGD have to get the hell out of here as Seeker will likely get the Roche. Yeah, maybe, maybe Secret kind of let them do that. Thanks like, for the damage. Do, do the hard work for us. You know, we can't really kill Roche ourselves that quickly. So if you guys would please get him to... GLGD were down by like 20 plus K. At, like it was a, a top hatch lacking level. Hmm. And they brought it back. So this is the one team I would not be comfortable with a lead, no matter how much. As we see mass TPs now from PSG LGD. Global Science to give him some cover. Nisha really wants to finish off the Dads, but not going to be able to do so. Now completely out of mana. But remember, does have the Aegis still intact. Might have to use it here, but Solar Guardian is healing up to a decent amount. Chrysalis not able to connect on any stuns, though. As Secret looking to potentially reset. That is complicated. <laughs> All right. Nice carapace. Oh, beautiful setup. Split Earth to follow. And the Impale again. Nothing to say is dead. And that's Secret. Man. You we can fight easy. Well, he didn't have mana. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, Impale set up onto Faith Beyond with the Solar Guardian, but a nice Tusk Snowball mitigates a lot of it as Crystal's pops the BKB a little bit prematurely. Starbreak doesn't really connect very well, but they still have the damage, it looks like, to take out Faith Beyond. And Jin Q is next on the list. So despite this... really impressive that he found a way out of that. On the other side of the map, though, Jin Q gets off the initiation. Already has his shard as Zayats gets off the Impale as Nisha has to walk his way around. But it looks like Jin Q is likely to fall. He's getting healed up, though. And still the Aegis in line for Nisha, so he is not scared. Eventually, Jin Q goes down, and there's the stun follow-up. And Nisha, they're looking for the bear. That's all the damage that Ame has. I mean, to get Lightning Storm just down, he's diving. just gonna continue on now. They're looking for a full team wide potentially. Global Silence is there. Nisha just hedging his bets. GG is just called. Over, and Secret completely stomped game number one. Not what we were expecting, but. Just with these, we have some fans here with a seemingly endless supply of Sir Action Slacks masks. I'm sure you guys will be able to find them out there, but now it's time for the game. Yep. That was a good timing on that voice line of us actually taking off the mask, so that's great. From, <laughs> she does have a way to get away as well. Yeah. Oh. Glimpse back, Starbreaker, but a lot of it's mitigated thanks to Frost Shield coming out from Y. And it's not gonna, oh, I was gonna say, it's not gonna lead to kill, but that is more damage than I thought. First Blood ends up going to Puppy. Yeah. So see, fight losing in the CS and the outer lanes, able to get first blood. A nice double stun from Zayas, but the Avalanche is gonna keep him in place. Spirit Siphon, and the tree toss is there. Jin Q gets credit. Maybe the communication was Y saying, I'm fine, don't worry. Um, I'm I'm speaking of case. Y, yep. take some heavy damage here, but here comes the pounce from Ame. Chrysalis, it's gonna be another Jingu stack coming out for Ame. And Puppy basically out of oh, right now. Stuns. Yeah, but the Starbreaker coming out. It does connect onto the Lich, but the Thunder God's Wrath finishes off two heroes. So nothing to say himself, though. The fortification was already popped as Jin Q. Oh. They do get the D word one way or the other, but it will be a deny. As you can see, oh, nothing to say, taking a lot of damage. Actually, the heavenly jump on the other side, and he's just dead to Nisha. Big kill for Seeker, as now they try to pursue. That was whoa, a rebound whoa, into what? a toss, which helps the unleash a little bit here. Impale's gonna connect onto one, but now Resolution has to be a little bit careful. He gets off the dispose, and there's the Sinister Gaze you were talking about from Y. They do find the kill on the support, but Resolution falls in the end. Oh. And a split earth just a millimeter off. And Nisha trying to oh, find some more value you said here. millimeter, not inch. All right, Zinkus. Well, it was a millimeter. Inch is bigger than a Have one hero far away of the field in this game. Oh, we, we have the Impale. Guy. Nice setup from Resolution as well. Crystal to the Solar Guardian. Faith Beyond is deleted. Fake. I will never call you that again, trust. <laughs> All right. Zayats. He's gonna be spotted. Okay. Sinister Gaze is there. Resolution gets a nice stun off with his rebound. Looks like Y is mega dead. It's Faith Beyond coming in from the low ground with that exorcism. Jin Q following out behind with a static storm inside that kinetic field. They're gonna try to focus down the DP, but she's healing so much. Now Resolution, he is getting low. The urn charge applied. One last little dip. And the urn as well will now be turned into a vessel. So this time around, LGD with the healing reduction. Nothing to say. He's gonna do a nice job of dodging, but it doesn't matter. Crystalis still has the damage. Boundless Strike connects on the two as Ame has come to play, but there is the glimpse. Absolutely take over, and I wanna say of all the people that is good at carrying on their back, he is probably number one on my list if I had to make one, as Zayats. Oh, oh nice the horsey. horsey. Very good. Yep. But Ame is there. That's a longer horsey. Yeah, that's Primal a monkey. Spring. Monkey over horse, apparently. And Zayas will proc down. That was almost the name of your vision. Sentry there as well. They're gonna spot him. They're gonna try to burst him down. Thunder God's Wrath is there as well. Looks like Puppy's gonna survive his Solar Guardian coming in now. They're gonna focus all their efforts onto this Lich. And the Zeus dies as well. So nothing to say. Takes a fall. This is gonna be a oh. third kill in this engagement. All for Seeker and even a buyback coming out. They set that up. Hastrun does spawn as Puppy's going to take the brunt here. Boundless Strike, but he turns into a little pig. A couple more right clicks will do it. So support down for Secret. And Getting away with that ward. He might be the one that suffers, but again, it's going to be a support potentially. He gets off the spike here, pace though. Exorcism is popped. Does that mean they want to try to go for a roach? They're trying to take a fight. Faith Beyond finding Chrysalis. Blowing him down with the Spirit Slower. Siphon, but the Kinetic Field blocks him off. And that might be all PSG LGD get. And that's a big cooldown. They have to take into account now. Oh, they might Jin even lose Q, their Tiny, the too. Split Earth, hammers there as well. Down goes Tiny. Faith Beyond. He's here as well, but the Exorcism is running out. Resolution forced to fight despite the Spirit being applied to him. Oh, my God. Big Lich hold on to two. And PSG LGD, despite being down in numbers at the start, end up taking this fight in space. Three for one. And Nisha left. Long he is going to be seen. Why? He's going to take oh, the vendetta sound. damage to start, but like you said, the silence coming out. Hammer. Chrysalis wants to finish the job, and he will. 
Well, they find this has been quietly farming in the top lane for the last smoke. Or I wish. Yeah, LGD. Avalanche clips Resolution, toss back into the Sinister Gaze, but Nisha's coming in with the Solar Guardian help as well. Resolution ticking out very slowly. Looks like he will fall. No, actually gets off the stun just in time with his Unleash, dispels the Urn Charge, and Jin Q looks like he's gonna fall as the Crystalist double kill comes out, but finally Resolution does fall. It's so a little bit of a back bringing him closer, but the Sinister Gaze actually stopped him. Yeah, it stopped the mid-air. Yeah. We're gonna see a fight here, Faith Beyond. Doing a lot of damage, healing up with the Spirit Siphon. Here comes the Wukong's command from Ame, trying to focus down Nisha. It's up the Bloodstone, but will oh, that be enough? Hit. Spirit Siphon's still there. That's two for nothing, PSG LGD. Winning this fight, and now another Avalanche GQ looking for a target to toss. Oh, Crystal's can't get to the low ground, though. Has to walk away the old-fashioned way. Gets off the Starbreaker. Nicely really connects onto Ame. Silence to follow. But it looks like this is going to be the death of the position. One for Secret as PSG LGD side. Might have missed out on the vision there. Now they saw him. Resolution with a nice rebound. Here comes the Solar Guardian as well. But the Avalanche mitigating a lot of this right now. As Crystal is focusing down Jin Q for the time being. As Faith Beyond looks to be dead. Just one more right click to go. So nice pick off for Secret. Oh, but Kame next to his tier 2 tower has to pop the BKB. Wukong's command to follow. Now there's no physical damage to go through this with that BKB activated. But they can try to continue on here once the BKB ends up running out. Why is going to take the the damage now from the Starbreaker. So Secret getting everything they want. Ame the only one left in this area. Looks like he does get away safely. That would have been just like a BKB in the coming fight. Could become massive for Secret here. From LGT, LGD in the pit. Exorcism already popped. Zayat is going to spot it. The Spike Carapace comes out. Double impale. Tiny's just dead right off the bat. And now the focus is on Ame. He goes down to the post though, but no buyback for the Monkey King as wide. He's going to get chased now by Nisha in a huge fight for Secret. We'll see if they can go into the pit and get this Roche, but the toss back from Jin Q. Avalanche is there as well. Resolution gets deleted, so maybe not with the numbers. Buyback now onto the Lich. Puppy, attempting to TP out. He'll be fine. The exact situation with the Sentry, I actually think they just get the Roche. Yeah, we got another toss back. This time it's onto Puppy. It's going to be canceled a bit here. That's next to the Starbreaker, so it's a one for one on the supports. I mean, Exo's still down for a minute. LGD even Exo try this? is up in five. It's Faith too late. Beyond, yeah, looks this like it's too late. Awesome play call here from Secret to go for this. They know Tiny has no buyback. Oh, oh they're gonna try to jump Faith kill. Beyond. Frost Shield's gonna keep him healthy for a little longer. Pops the BKB. Do they oh, have the physical damage stop. to go through? But Monkey King with the balance strike. Ame comes to play. Bash applied to resolution now, but the rebound onto the other side of the river. He'll be fine. But Nisha looks like he wants to try to fight. Gets off the Yule. Faith Beyond now on the outskirts of this fight. That is a dead lash, but that is just the Aegis. Exorcism still going. Zayats gets the impale onto one. But now they're trying to turn this around onto the Monkey King. There's the Starbreaker from Chrysalis. And that is the death of Ame. 50 seconds on the deck. And PSG LGD, they get the Aegis. They have a good spell to get out. <laughs> Every with. time I saw, oh, we're going to see the Avatars come out onto Puppy. Is it going to be punished though? Chrysalis comes in with the hammer. Starbreaker's there as well. And Jin Q dies. 45 seconds of no Tony. And why? Going to be spotted out. The glimpse back. It looks like Y will be next, so two supports down in favor of Secret. You know, that reliable slow to once again oh, stick. Nothing to on say, targets. Impale is there. The stun from Resolution with the Basher as well. Nothing to say, has to use BKB. But the glimpse back, they're going to find the support. No, Faith Beyond pops the BKB as well. But this is both in defensive measures as Resolution finds the distance because he's playing Marcy. And down goes nothing. Yeah, okay. Looking for the support, but Zayats is there to try to counteract the Solar Guardian coming in as well. Ame pops the BKB along with Chrysalis, but Starbreaker deletes Y from the face of the map, and now they're inside Wukong's command. No bash. Have to get the hell out of there as Resolution. Looks like he's going to live. Uses the rebound to get a little bit extra distance. Zayats and company now focusing down Faith Beyond on the Death Prophet. Another valuable kill and another ability, but you know. <laughs> True. Uh, Puppy. If they want him, he's yeah. dead. They do. Okay, Avatar. Zayas wants to come in, though. They've lost Puppy already. He does have the buyback available. His Thunder God's Wrath is there. Looks like Zayas is going to barely limp away, but no, nothing to say there to finish him off. Now, Resolution, he's taking so much damage. The rebound onto the other side of the map again. Rezo is fine. 70 seconds of no Nyx. Must have been a dieback, technically. Uh, Puppy. Puppy. Static Storm. Okay. okay. Enough to take out Jin Q. Very cocky play from Puppy, but it kind of works out, but... Again, if they get the kill, this will technically be a dieback for him. Balance strike, and it looks like it will be just that. Seven and a half yeah, minutes. That's a good recovery. Oh, it gets oh, the carapace. Nice. Very good initiation, but Jin Q is there with the avalanche. Will it be enough? No. Nothing to say. It goes down to 
Another member of Secret. That Starbreaker has been deleting. He was like... Resolution with the double damage, oh, by the way. Nothing to say is dead. And it's not onto several heroes. Now two dead for LGD to just start out the fight. Another Starbreaker, but now Crystals and company outside the Wukong's command. The glimpse back on the Faith Beyond. And he is dead. Triple kill for Resolution. There are all buybacks available for LGD, so she could have to be a bit careful with this. And why? He's going to die inside his own base. He is the one lone member of LGD without the fight. <laughs> that's not really what's happening. Uh, <laughs> so I think that's what I'm saying. The Octarine is the glass half full approach, but that's okay. not what's been happening, right? So I think you have to. Oh, why? Out. Out. No, he's totally We're going to oh. see him unleash and a couple of right clicks. From the... When you're going high ground yourself, it's actually not too shabby as well. Avalanche here, Wukong's command expended. Is it just for Puppy though? Looks like it is for now as Nisha, he's perfectly fine to try to fight this out on the other side of the Wukong's command. Here comes a Solar Guardian as well, Faith Beyond is dead. But the toss back onto Nisha, but now the Wukong's command is down, the BKB finally activate for Ami, he gets a big battle of strike. A lot of damage coming out from nothing to say, so they get the two supports in the end, but now nothing to say, he's the one getting pursued by Nisha, Split Earth connects, Pulse Nova continuing to go in again. The Age is still intact for Secret, Frost Shield not going to mitigate any of that magic damage, and the Starbreaker is... And Nisha... Not. I mean, he's level 25. Toss back. Toss back. This is something you have to be a little bit careful with. He pops the BKB, and Jin Q is punished really hard. So this is going to not connect thanks to BKB from Faith Beyond. That's the buyback now to Jin Q. That'd be careful because nothing to say is now available to fight. They're going to try to turn this around as Resolution jumps in with his BKB, focusing down Ame, but the Wukong's command can get so much armor as Resolution gets destroyed. 80 seconds of no mercy. Another okay. pause for Secret as PSG LGD showing some life here. They find three kills with no reciprocation. It's something, especially we've seen Faceless Voids in the past go for as a buildup to refresh. Oh, oh he's going to be the one that gets popped here, but pops the BKB very early. Gets off the Slitter, trying to play around it, but the Jingle's about to proc here as well. It's the Wukong's trouble. command is there, and Nisha has to use the Yule on himself. But he's likely just going to be left alone, and he's going to be brought down. A huge kill for LGD. Shut up, right? He has the next. Oh, speaking of. Yeah, Solar Guardians there. Looks like Jin Q will die. If you play tight like this with Sentry Wards, it's a lot harder for Zayas <laughs> to find the impact. Uh, very synced up on those Shivas there. Faith Beyond versus Nisha, but the BKB prevents the glimpse from being used. Oh, uh, Reso's thinking. Oh, he's going in. He gets the bash to start oh. things out. Evaporated here, and now they're gonna get the Lich on top of it, has to buy back. And we can see that Roche is available. I'm not sure if they're aware. And this is the one with the Aghanim Scepter, which gives you that 6k net worth injection. It feels like an oversight to not have that item, right? I know you're playing against Glimpse, but you need some sort of way of getting out of Starbreaker, of getting out of. Oh, away from and, oh. and they're gonna jump in. Solo Guardian coming in at the end. It looks like Bethia might drop inside the Wukong's command, and they have to just right, try to reset. Zayas is gonna live thanks to the Eon Disc and just burrow his way back to full HP. The Jin Q is dead as well without buyback available. Now they just wait out the Wukongs. Oh, he got the oh, stun again! Go in again with Chrysalis' Starbreaker, decimating time and time again. But there's Ame's Refresher, a Wukong's command to follow. Chrysalis eats the cheese, tries to get four staff, but not gonna live through this engagement. They did find Niche, okay. Gets off the Yule, but instantly canceled. Dude, that this was a neutral item. Shard. It's actually doing work. But they got the tower, but nothing more. And well, they got Nisha. a Faith Beyond! Uh-oh. Inside the Static Storm. They remember, he can't use any items inside of it, and he's dead! 90 seconds of no death profit. Ame trying to get some revenge, but Resolution ends up using Rebound on the other side. Only one inside Wukong's command right now, but three dead for PSG LGD. And now Ame looks to be next, and Starbreaker is coming just for him. Specialty from Secret. He has to buy back instantly. Now Resolution with the Dispose, onto nothing to say, has to pop the BKB himself, but this looks like it might be the beginning of the end for LGD in this upper bracket. Rebound not propped there, but again, Chrysalis with the Starbreaker. And this is gonna be several sets of racks, if not potentially GG. Just protection, it wasn't enough. Oh, Zayat finds Ame. This is gonna be a dieback for him, potentially, and it will. Double Starbreaker, GG is called, and secret 2-0. expecting that potential matchup in the upper bracket, but...